We worked on a disappearing number, which is obviously my home territory of mathematics. Um, but then I got this phone call when I was out in America saying, hey, I'm thinking about consciousness. And what was so bizarre was that I was in fact making a program with the BBC about consciousness. So it was a very timely phone call to come in and uh, tell you some of my stories, I think, about what, what science has to say about consciousness. One of the ways, of course, we think about consciousness is that we are locked into who we are. There were many questions that came up, such as, you know, what is consciousness? Is it a, cons an e a consequence of sort of evolution and language, something that the brain has produced? It's sort of an epiphenomenon, as they say, a, a byproduct of an evolutionary process. Uh, and is it really this, if it exists, <laughs> It, it sounds a crazy thing, we have such a strong sense that we exist. Uh, uh, is, it, is it just this thing in our heads? Well, I think that was why theatre was such an interesting place to explore this, because there is a sense that with an audience there's something more than just the individual consciousnesses of the audience members and the people on stage, that there's something else beginning to appear there and that's why I thought it was really interesting to explore that because uh, I mean actually the science of consciousness we still really don't know what it is but I was interested when you went to talk to the Maya Runa and you asked them this question about what they thought about consciousness it was, it was a very surprising answer it was very different because I did the, I asked the same question of actors in fact when we got together we asked it of scientists, psychotherapists, a very broad spectrum of different people. And people would say, you know, well, I'm, I sort of feel that my consciousness, I'm somewhere just behind my eyes, you know, I don't have a head uh, because I can't see it. Um, uh, some people said, oh, I'm conscious here, this is where I'm conscious, you know. When I asked the Mayaruna in the village of Marajayi, when I asked them, uh, where is their consciousness? They pointed to the forest. So, I, of course, I realized that I hadn't made myself clear. I said, no, in you, where, where do you sort of identify you? And they again pointed at mm. the forest. Well, I said, well, but, you know, surely you're looking out. I tried to explain it in every different way. And then, of course, I realized that I was, it was I who was misunderstanding, not them because they didn't feel that their inner worlds were separate from the world around them. You become very aware in the theatre that even when you're on stage, you know, because the play is not theatre, even when you're on stage, that's not theatre. It only exists when the audience is there. And it's the audience and you interacting that makes it. I've sometimes said that the theatre only exists in the mind of the audience. Well, in a sense, that's not quite true. It's in this communal space between us. Uh, but one of the things that happens to people in an audience and why people come to the theatre is that they suddenly laugh together, they cry together, and they realise this thing that they have inside their heads is existing simultaneously in the minds of everybody else, in other words they cannot be and are not alone.